Five at five, a nail biting day for the Emory community as they await results that will show how much faith the student body has in their president. The vote came after campus protest and arrest over the war in Israel. Atlanta News First, Patrick Quinn, live at five on campus for us tonight. Patrick, I know we're waiting to actually get those results back. Anything in just yet? Alan, we haven't gotten any results just yet. They could come at any minute. Voting closed at three o'clock now. I am just told that the students, they will present these results to the Board of Trustees personally in the morning. So if the board wants to gauge the temperature here on campus amidst the protests, students will be handing them a thermometer and that thermometer is in the form of these votes of no confidence against Gregory Vinves. We saw last week the professors of the College of Arts and Sciences, they had a similar vote and it passed with 75% in favor, saying they have no confidence in the leadership of FinVez. In the end, leadership changes are decided by the Board of Trustees. I asked Jim Hestery, a professor here, if the board will back its body. It's up to the Board of Trustees. Do you think they're listening? That's a really good question. And, and my real answer is I don't know. And I feel like so many of us feel so distant from the administration, from the Board of Trustees. Every meeting, faculty come out demoralized and really with a, a severe lack of trust in the statements that are, are being told to us. And Hestery said that there is just a disconnect, a division between the board, between the administration and many of the students and staff here on campus. Again, we have not gotten those results yet from the students vote of no confidence. As soon as we get them, we will update you right here and online as well. From Emory, Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First.